Yeah, hey guys, I'm coming at you from my garden, self-isolation with uh, respect to COVID-19. Um, yeah, look, I was just sitting out here thinking to myself, what I might do is uh, showcase some of the weeds that most of you have probably got in your gardens and just explain how you can use them right now at, um, you know, for your own benefit, because some of them actually will really help with the lung function. So um, what I might do is I think I might post one, one herb a day um, or one weed a day. And um, yeah, feel free to jump in, um, you know, with any questions or queries and, um, you know, maybe just make this a little bit of a self-isolation exercise, education exercise. Um, the first one I want to talk about is this little lady over here. Um, hopefully you'll get it with all the sun that's on it at the moment. Um, so this one here is lance leaf plantain or plantago lanceolata. Now, most of you would probably be familiar with if it comes into focus with these little seed heads. Okay, so that kind of sits up like that, all right? Now those seeds for the record are actually edible and um, they are you can pretty much use them like psyllium husks. So they're excellent for digestion and constipation and that sort of issue. But today we are talking about this one. We're talking about the leaf of lance leaf plantain and I'm just gonna shove that back up there. Cool, sorry, I'm chasing the sun or the shade at the moment. Um, so this guy here I use a lot in clinic for lung conditions and um, that's because it's such an amazing expectorant all right it is quite gentle still and it um, it's actually got a really pleasant flavor compared to some of them so it's actually quite easy to get into kids now um, the leaves of this lance leaf plantain and also um, common plantain which is round leaf I don't have any in the immediate vicinity but it's here um, both of them will contain a large amount of a constituent called a lantuin. So a lantuin is um, basically a, a nutrient or a constituent that will help to knit collagen and strengthen things. And you can tell that by how well this guy's standing up. All right, so there's a lot of structure in that. And the lantuin is what allows that for, to happen. And that can actually help to strengthen the lung tissue. The other thing that this plantain can do is help with expectoration. And ultimately, when you're dealing with this sort of um, condition like COVID-19, you really want to keep the lung function going and you want to be able to cough out any mucus. And that's the really important part because where people are falling down here is with secondary type pneumonia. Now, um, the best way to use this thing, because it is literally a, you know, quite a soft leaf, I want you to crush it and I want you to put it into some boiling water and use it as though you would a tea, a hot tea. Hot drinks, by the way, are really important at this stage for lung issues um, and this type of upper respiratory virus. So hot is always better. Um, when you're dealing with a fresh leaf like this, you want to be using around about two teaspoons per cup of boiling water. To be honest, you could go higher than that if you really wanted to. You're probably not going to overdose on this herb. It really is a very gentle, gentle plant. Um, now, uh, the reason I like to crush it or I like to sort of pulverize it or even just rip it up as opposed to chopping it is that you're going to break down the cell walls a lot more and you're going to get the active constituents out of it a lot more readily. So um, yeah, what, what you want to be doing is you want to be picking some of these leaves, you want to be crushing it up, pouring boiling water over it and then the therapeutic dose of that would be around about four cups per day. Again, you could go higher than that if you really wanted to because I don't think you're going to overdose on this plant. Um, it is particularly easy to take, so um, it's easy for kids. It does taste a bit grassy on its own, so if you want to add it to, say, peppermint or, um, you know, lemon balm or something else really cool and tasting, taste a bit nicer tasting, then knock yourself out. So um, that's our first little COVID-19 herb, lance leaf plantain, and it will pretty much grow anywhere in temperate regions and also quite often in the warmer regions because this stuff usually comes up before the grass does after a drought. Um, so if you've got any questions, hit me up and um, yeah, see you tomorrow with another herb.